Good afternoon beer buffs and I'm continuing my Oktoberfest reviews this time going to Germany itself with Ayinga Oktoberfest Marzen from Ayinga Bruin if I'm pronouncing that right so let's get a pour on going into it up farm I can. Now I was down in Munich, Germany back in the 1990s when I was taught the finer points of an Oktoberfest by a very tall German gentleman by the name of Wolfgang Bopp. Chalk that up. He sorted, he sorted me out with everything I did. I know everything there is to know about a good German Marzen. There you go. Yes, ready for another one on this lovely autumnal day. 32 bloody celsius <laughs> yeah chalk that one up um god it's baking there's not much of a breeze either so i'm sweating so anyway i'm excited special one today actually from germany and actually from a place just south of munich where they have the big Oktoberfest of all places so keeping the bottle cap for my collection look at that isn't that cool um that over here next to Chuck and yeah let me get a pour on god I need this it's so bloody hot sweating back it come on breeze come through and my uh, stein of course keep it in the Oktoberfest style um, I'm expecting great things from this this comes from Germany itself so um, and I'll talk a bit about the brewery in a second and you can you'll understand why I'm expecting great things um look at the color though that's golden isn't it golden or uh not quite it's like a dark gold isn't it what do you call that color there's a term for that color isn't it i talked about it last week maybe amber amber right that's right isn't it oh, i've been waiting on this one and it's a good pour as well good old bottle from the from the homelands of the Oktoberfest itself Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that is, that is nice. Wow, that is, I'm not going to say, I'm just going to say this is an outstanding Oktoberfest, straight up. The, the specs are doing a little bit of a special on these. In Well, in special, I mean advertising. So uh, we got some company over, Colton's coming over and Brandy and uh, this weekend. So I may get us a nice big box of those to share why not it's october that might be fun it's uh it's an idea eh? it's an idea so anyway let me have another more sip before we get into the nitty gritty of this gosh bitter on the aftertaste that kind of initial maltiness kind of uh, vibe to it um cereal um does it say much on the back? Amber coloured, rich, full bodied. Ayinga at the foot of the Bavarian Alps, there you go, is one of the world's most respected breweries, family owned and operated since 1878. And talking, that, let's go into the brewery itself. Uh, it did open in 1877. Well, what's that, a year? So, the, the same family, and the family is the Ing. In Selkama. I'm probably saying that so, so wrong. I so apologize to the family itself. Uh, in 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 Selkama, in Selkama family. So I guess they've been pretty much running it from the start. Um, and it's like a, they said, a in it's Bayern, Germany, uh, southeast of Munich, um, South Germany. That is um, Bayern, Munich. Of course, we are star is harry kane right now harry kane know his name there he is um yeah plays for bayern and obviously a, a tottenham star of course uh oh look his arms move ah, score a goal mate score a goal there he is harry kane know his name so i'll put him over here um but yeah he's pl he's playing for bayern munich uh football team right now still hasn't got a trophy poor lad <laughs> but he will he will um 
so yeah they opened in 1877 it's an independent brewery um interesting i wikipedia these because they're very old brewery of course um rather than i normally just look them up because these newer breweries i just go to they wouldn't have a wikipedia page i just go to uh untapped but i was just trying to get some gumph and uh they have a whole little spiel about their Oktoberfest, actually, and this is interesting. I didn't know this. If you want to know what an Oktoberfest is, folks, go to my previous video and I explain it in a bit more detail. So, um, but an Oktober, so because of the Oktoberfest in Munich, um, the big one, um, they, they don't allow breweries, Munich beer, beer oh, oh, sorry, sort it out, Brian, sorry. Um, Munich Oktoberfest don't allow breweries outside the city limits to uh, participate in this. So A, A Inga, this brewery, um, organizes smaller festivals and brew festival kind of beer festivals in the countryside around Munich. So I thought that's really nice, isn't it? So come Oktoberfest, they're kind of doing their own thing out in the wider area of Munich or Bayern. And uh, then obviously Munich itself has the big you know all the breweries inside munich city limits so it's interesting um but i you know that's something i learned um certain rules around this Oktoberfest. by the way this is a 5.8 percent uh, october fest um, mm, it's just tasty really tasty there's a lot going on in it you know oh god I think it may be one of the best Oktoberfests I've ever had. I know I did a few last year, folks, um, which uh, I can't remember what I rated them, but this is going to be high. And it's hard, you know, when you haven't had one that long, but, you know, I'm setting a bench. I set a benchmark last week with the one I did last week from Taps Brewing. So we're kind of going from there, really. But this is good. This is going to be gone. I'm sorry, but it's going to be gone in no time. Um, anyway, so um, getting on with tricks. I'll talk a little bit about um, um, Ayinga's um, diff other different beers that they do. So, um, by the way, I do urge you to um, have a look as well. They've got a little bit of information on, not much on Wikipedia, Facebook, Wikipedia, but they tell you a little bit more and a little bit more about the awards they've won. Excuse me. Um, and on Untapped, if you look it up, I've got a little bit of spiel there. But if you go to the website, keep in mind it is in German. So you have to be versed in the language to kind of understand what's going on there. But yeah, you know, if you are, go and look it up and you maybe you'll learn more than I did. Um, I'm hoping to learn a little bit more about them, especially when I get a few more of their beers. So going on to that, leading us right in there. A few more beers they do at uh, Ayinga Celebrator, and it's a Bock. So that one sounds nice. I do like a Bock all year round, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Ayinga Brauweiss, and it's a Wheat Beer Stroke Hef and Weizen. So that's nice. Actually, that'd be nice in the summer. Um, they do uh, Ayinga Lager Hell. Uh, you got to go to hell for that one, eh? If you're lager out, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But that, you know, I always enjoy lager, as you well know. And if you're Shandy, and I ain't, well, maybe I am sometimes, but I don't own up to that. You may enjoy the Ayinga Radler. Bit Shandy, that one. So have a look. Chalk it up if you can. So there's a few. Do you like my new bottle opener, by the way? I keep breaking every one. Hopefully this one's a bit more rigid. They just don't hold up to what I drink, I guess. But... Uh, yeah, this one's a little wooden solid little baby, so serving me well so far for at least a couple of weeks. But <laughs> hey, Harry, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, now look after it, pal. I will, I will, Harry. So, um, anyway, back to the beer itself. What a football Harry Kane is <sighs> remarkable! All the goals he's got, he broke records for Tottenham, um, he's breaking records for in Europe as well now. I just wish he could get a trophy and this sack if uh, Tottenham get a trophy this year and he's not there and uh, uh, he'll get it with Bayern um, some some point anyway oh, you know what 
this is solid i urge you to find some if you can this month if not the matter maybe any time you well i don't know i don't know how you know maybe it's only distributed through this season but still i do urge you to try it it's a solid 9.5 on the october fair scale me from me the texas staff wonderful and with that i bid you a fond farewell i think i have another week left to do another october fest so look out and then i I've, like i said i'm getting some pumpkins together for the halloween special so until then uh cheers and keep it crafty